but probably the, the place that I'm most excited about is what AI can do for, um, for healthcare and medicine and uh, for really for quality of life, right? Um, but if computing can um, help improve um, sort of health outcomes and, you know, AI is such a big part of that. So very near term examples, I think, you know, AI can actually improve health care outcomes uh, for, for people like today. And when you think about, um, you know, sort of the, the diversity of healthcare that exists, you know, even just across this country, whether you're at, you know, the best hospital versus you're in some rural community where you don't have the best doctors and you don't have the best capabilities, to be able to equalize some of those healthcare outcomes with the usage of AI, uh, early diagnosis of things like cancers or um, other things um, really help improve um, healthcare outcomes so much. Like you wouldn't say that you would want the uh, your AI capability to make all of the decisions because we we wouldn't you know trust that capability. But boy, if you had AI just equalize um, and let, let's call it a a very you know very strong capability to give you a second opinion you know right on the spot, like that's just a very easy example right now.